UBS buying out Credit Suisse in a $3 billion deal, plus there's an injection of about $100 million to free up some liquidity there. Ryan Felsman joins us live. What sort of an effect is this going to have on our local markets today, Ryan? Well, Pete, the SPY futures are currently pointing down by 98 points or 1.4%, but that occurred on Friday. If we look at what happened on Wall Street on Friday, we did see the Dow Jones fall by 385 points or 1.2%. We saw the broader S&P 500 index down 1.1% and the tech heavy NASDAQ down by 0.7%. That was really on concerns around US regional bank First Republic Bank. That was down 32.8% despite a $30 billion rescue package announced late last week amongst the US banks. But all attention will be on Europe. We did see Credit Suisse's shares down by 8% on Friday after Deutsche Bank said it would curb lending to the stricken bank. And then over the course of the weekend, what we have seen, as you've mentioned, Pete, is an up to $3 billion deal for Switzerland's largest bank, UBS, to take over Switzerland's second largest bank, Credit Suisse. And of course, that deal is an all-share deal at 0.5 Swiss francs, and that's a lot lower than Credit Suisse's share price on Friday, which is 1.86 Swiss francs, valuing at $8 billion. So as you mentioned, Pete, the Swiss National Bank is going to provide $100 billion worth of loans to the Swiss mega bank to make sure that it shores up the banking system. And of course, it's really important because if you look at Credit Suisse, its balance sheet is worth about 530 billion Swiss francs. That's twice the size of Lehman Brothers when it collapsed back in the GFC in 2008. And of course, Credit Suisse is more interconnected globally than Lehman Brothers was. So that's going to be a big factor for Aussie share markets today. Uh, and the Aussie dollar is currently trading at 67.3 US cents. So do you think this might calm jitters, Ryan, or is it too early to say? Well, it should calm jitters. In fact, uh, there have been concerns about contagion from the US regional banks across the Atlantic to Europe, to Europe, of course, and we have seen Credit Suisse under pressure. It has been beset by scandals and losses. Last week, we heard from the Saudi National Bank. It's got a 10% stake in Credit Suisse. It said because of regulatory issues, it couldn't increase that stake. And of course, we did see a run on Credit Suisse on the back of that. As I mentioned, its share price was down 8% on Friday, despite a $54 billion loan from the Swiss National Bank being announced late last week. So it's hoped that this will stem, stem that contagion in the global banking sector, Pete. OK, we will see. Ryan Felsman, thank you. We'll